So even in last video, we have discussed different examples of motion. In this video, we will discuss about how to describe the motion. To describe the location of an object by specifying a reference point of the origin. If I want to locate one object, if I want to give the location of that object, I want to describe the location of the object, what I need, what is the most important thing I need is the reference point or the origin. I need some point. We will call that point as a reference point. With the reference to that point, we will locate that object. Now the question is how to choose that reference point or the origin. Answer to this is choose that point according to our convenience. How easy it is to choose or as per your convenience you can choose that reference point or the origin. Let us take an example. School in a village is 2 km north of the railway station. Here railway station is our reference point or the origin. With the reference to this railway station, I want to define the location of the school or I want to locate the school. And we know it is 2 km north of the railway station. We know the directions east, west, north, south, northeast, northwest, southwest, southeast. We will make use of these directions. Suppose this is that railway station and with reference to this railway station, I want to define the location of the school. Suppose this is the school. Now we know the directions like this is the north direction. In the north direction, the school is located. So from the railway station, north side, 2 km, the school is located. The school in a village is 2 km north of the railway station. Here is the railway station, here is the school and railway station north. North direction is this, upward direction, north side, 2 km distance, school is located. So this is very basic diagram I have shown or basic how simply we can make use of these directions that I have shown. But actually how we will describe the motion for the objects which are stationary, which are moving. For all those critical cases also, how to describe the motion that we will discuss in a coming videos. Thank you.